Are you trying to learn C-Sharp and .NET as a self-taught developer? Maybe you're in school looking to switch careers or just want to get into programming but aren't sure if it's even possible to do on your own. Well, just like I taught myself to code, this is absolutely doable. Learning to code is a skill anyone can acquire, but having the wrong approach or a lack of guidance can make it much harder than it needs to be, even making it seem impossible. In this video, I'll share the three crucial aspects you should focus on that I wish I had known sooner. Plus one bonus tip that's so underused yet could accelerate your entire learning process. Welcome to Code the Future, my name is Alian and my goal here is to help you learn C Sharp and .NET on your own. Now let's dive in. If you've already started teaching yourself to code, you might feel overwhelmed by all the information out there. There's so much to choose from but it can be hard to know what's really useful. The real challenge is figuring out what to learn next and in what order. Jumping between random tutorials can slow you down and make things even more confusing. As a C-sharp and .NET developer, you probably know you should start with C-sharp and then move on to building web applications with ASP.NET Core. But there are many other important things you need to learn along the way. For example, ASP.NET Core has different frameworks for different types of applications, so it's important to know what to focus on next. The first thing on your to-do list when you start should be finding a roadmap or a clear path to follow rather than learning things as you go. You can either research it yourself or get it from an instructor you trust. I believe that guides and courses online are a good idea and can provide you with a more structured learning approach, especially if you've already found the free content and teaching style of that instructor helpful. If you're interested in a completely free C Sharp and .NET developer roadmap, I've created one that outlines the right steps to take. You can download it using the link below. And if you want a more step-by-step -step guide on building web applications, with ASP.NET Core MVC as a self-taught beginner, I also have a course which I link below as well in case you think it's the right fit for you. Once you have a guide you're following and start watching tutorials, you might still feel like you're not making real progress. It can be frustrating and it's easy to start thinking that maybe programming isn't for you. But what if the issue isn't you but rather how you're approaching the process? Many self-taught developers try to learn everything at once, jumping between multiple topics, different frameworks, and following several tutorials. This can quickly lead to feeling overwhelmed, distracted, and burnt out. The key to avoiding this is simple. You just need to focus on one thing at a time. Instead of spreading yourself too thin, concentrate on mastering one topic or framework before moving on to the next. Get comfortable with one technology before switching to another. Making this small change in your approach can lead to huge improvements. You'll make faster progress and feel more confident as you better understand what you're actually doing. At some point in your learning journey, you'll realize that the biggest leap in code isn't about learning more, it's about actually building something. But this is where many of us get stuck. We spend hours watching tutorials and reading articles but never take the step to start working on our own projects. Or some try to build something too complicated without a solid plan which ends up feeling overwhelming and discouraging. If this sounds familiar, don't worry, you just need to start small. Pick a simple problem to solve using the knowledge you already have, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect or if it seems small small, what matters is that you're building something. To make the project feel less overwhelming, break it down into small, manageable tasks, start with simple steps and gradually add more as you build confidence. Even if your project isn't perfect, finishing it will teach you more than any tutorial ever could. You'll learn problem solving, troubleshooting and gain real experience that will help you grow faster. Now my extra bonus tip, I believe that one of the key things that can accelerate the whole process as a self thought developer, something most people don't pay enough attention to, is getting support from others. It's easy to think you can do everything on your own, but you don't have to go solo. In fact, collaborating with others, whether it's working on group projects or simply talking to other developers, can expose you to new ideas, help clarify any blind spots you might have and keep you motivated. Joining online communities like Discord, Reddit and coding forums can be a game changer. You'll find people who have been where you are and many are more than happy to share their experiences and offer help. 
One underrated tip is to engage with smaller YouTube channels. If you have a question about a video, unlike big creators, smaller YouTubers often take the time to respond to comments and offer personalized advice. It can feel like you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation and this personal interaction can provide very helpful feedback. Learning with others makes the process much easier, more enjoyable and helps you move forward faster by having the support you need. If you want the learning path broken down in into concrete steps, I have a video specifically on that which should be on the screen. So click on it, thank you for watching and I'll see you there.